was this? Oh, that's the paperwork Blue I gotta do. File. Never trusted this guy. Chinese food. Ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Oh yes. Put the fan on. Yeah, it's funny. Is it's hot in his apartment. It's hot in my apartment too. Cause it's somewhere in the city, and um, New York City can get pretty hot. So. Yep. He's one of the three little piggies, of course. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Uh. Yeah. I've only got the one. So, yeah. Yeah, I had a rough night, so. Move! <laughs> Got a smoke? Who nice. doesn't smoke sheesh? Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Come on, that's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house <laughs> didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. That's all in that what you pants. will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Um... I'm gonna take a sip. Probably mean, but... Eh. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Really? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. Exactly. You can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. That was with someone that's not afraid of me. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> You started it. <laughs> you think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being, being bad. bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it is cheesy. I've That's had, yeah. the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Nope. Everyone. Name one. I'll tell you. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? 
Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't Just make Just give sense. me a drink, exactly. please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Hopefully this shuts him up. Thanks, Big B. What's up with all these walls, like, being just so run down and shit, like... These paint, just use paint. That'd be easier. All right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me a chance. Damn. <laughs> oh man, I know why he did that. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How was that? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Here it goes. You're not gonna like this. Damn. No. Damn, damn, damn. You knew this girl? Yeah. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought. I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Yeah, that kind of girl. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. Mm. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Exactly. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh, that was nice of him. Let's look at that cut. cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. 
see something in her mouth. What is? Definitely a clue. Well, another clue. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Follow that trail. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Investigate. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Oh okay. yeah? Good idea. So let's follow. Why is it not letting me? Okay. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Got that. Hmm. Okay. There's some loose trash. And this. Blood. Yep. More blood. We might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? Gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. Oh, now I see why. Okay. Reporting back to snow. Okay, let's check the fabric. What are you doing? Better Not trying to be a perv. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Uh, her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. Yep. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. This is so cool! <laughs> Making I'm my gonna little... have to tell Crane about this. Conclusions. As long as Kinkoo is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Girl, we wait. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right mm -hmm. now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but 
I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. And on we go. So definitely a message. Especially, like, why would she have the ribbon and the ring in her mouth? And her head just nicely placed there. Mm-hmm. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Yes. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. Not in your that business. didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Screw you. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. I'm not saying out of it. Anyone's He's an fault. ass. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. I'll find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Right. Right. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. That's nothing to do with work, so do long your ask job, Sheriff. her to... Well, we'll find someone uh, who can. Uh. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> You would have just pissed him off more. All right. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't going to say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Yeah. What an asshole. Yep. Oh, snap. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Damn it. Is, I wanted to pick the other one. Is he gone? And I pressed yes, the button by mistake. I was gonna ask about the massage thing. That's what I really wanted to do. Uh-huh. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Work, uh, drinking, drinking on a job? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. That got her in trouble. How are you today, Mr. Thingling. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. 
He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Right on. Whoa. What is this? Can I get a genie up in here? Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. <laughs> For real. Alright. Magic mirror. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Nah. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history rules. Whatever. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yes. Yeah, I'm about two seconds <laughs> away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? All right. Show me woodsman. the woodsman. I don't think he did it, but... Where is he? What you see is complete. Yeah. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Uh, let's look at Snow. Show me Snow White. <laughs> the smile on his face. He really likes Not her. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I know. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show Buffkin. me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking. Oh, jeez. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Ah, uh, Buffkin. He had some problems. <laughs> Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Alright. To investigate this thing we go. Right, okay now. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Yep. So this is me. Huh. Me. <laughs> See. The woodsman, which we already met. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Little Red Riding Hood, which he mentioned. Yeah, the two of them. I wonder what the story was. And of course, Snow White. You're getting warmer. The crutch. But that's me. <laughs> what about these yeah, guys? Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. We already met Beauty. Beauty. Happier days. Her beast and her man, beast. Funny. One of them is at my Alan place. And his brothers. Now, wait a minute. That's uh. E now I remember. Bond crane. Yeah. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. 
Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yep. That's told. Nice hat. Who is this one? We haven't met this one. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. And this symbol. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. All right. can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This is the symbol that we saw. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... Skin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was. Uh, his daughter. Gross. Faith. I never heard of this fairy tale. She had a magic cloak made from the skin wow. of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Oh. Well, if he didn't... No. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Alright, I want to go to the mirror. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? All right. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. All right. How about Faith? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing me. 
It's simply the way this has to be. Yeah, something's not right. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Did Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, so let's Nobody go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Okay. Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oi! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Uh, whenever you're ready. Uh, Alright, going to end it here. But... I was thinking, which one would be more helpful? Going to Toad's place first? Because there's somebody there already and maybe we can catch the person who may be, um, you know, a part of this, of what happened to Faith or what, or, uh, I don't know. I guess, whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you for watching and uh, this is just a pretty awesome game. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.